Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to another episode of the Gold Coast Marathon prep series. We are now under three weeks out and we're gradually starting to taper coming into these next few weeks. Hoping to obviously come into the come into race day fresh and ready to go. So many memories <laughs> running through these trails for GC30. Thank God we don't have to do these <laughs> during the marathon. But got about 14 to 16 kilometers easy today depending on how I feel last week hit 120 kilometers again so the fatigue is actually starting to stack up a little bit now still no injuries just getting to the stage where getting a bit tired easy runs are getting or they just feel longer and um, yeah just ready to taper so gonna go through a full day of training today and everything in between hope you guys enjoy I forget how much more tiring <laughs> running these trails is than on the road. Makes me feel a little bit better considering we did a 30k race through here. And I somehow managed to hold on to four minute pace. And look here's Dave the runner. Oh, hey. Out vlogging. Out <laughs> the vlog crew. I see the vlogger. Hey, you want a key card? Yeah. <laughs> How far do you run? Um, about 4Ks. Oh, yeah, I've only done go? literally 2Ks. All right. I've been, like, just pissing a while, man. We'll just keep going, then. Just separated from Dave. We ended up running about seven or eight kilometers together which is good always good to do some of these runs with someone else just gonna come back onto the road not many cars around which is good legs are feeling very heavy today so I think we might might just hit 14 kilometers so about another 3k and then we'll be done. Ah. Run complete. Great way to start the day. 14 kilometers. I um my legs were pretty sore near the end there. I did say I was either going to do 14 or 16. Got to around 10 and they were very sore. So like I said, getting to the end of this marathon prep. So yeah, it's um, it's just going to happen. I feel like if, you've, if your prep has kind of like gone to plan or like you're putting in 100%, you can expect to be pretty sore by the end of it. Like it's, you're not supposed to be able to maintain crazy volume and a crazy amount of running like every single week of the year it's just like your body's just going to break down over time like after this marathon definitely going to take uh, a couple weeks to let the body like fully kind of recover going to take it really easy and then i do have sydney marathon but um just not sure if that's going to be i want to i want to film that whole race and kind of just enjoy it i don't think i want to like put a full another prep into that depending on if gold coast goes to plan i'm like i'm i am feeling really confident that gold coast is going to be a great race for me so i really want to 
go down to Sydney and just enjoy that run, one, that run, and um, yeah, just really kind of soak it all in, film a heap of things, and take you guys along for the journey with that one. But Gold Coast, like it's obviously, it's um, I'm not too sure how much I'm going to actually be able to film on the day because it's it's more so just one of those things that's like it really is for for me something that I've never ran really a marathon that's gone to plan and has been something that I've been really happy with it, apart from my sub three a few hours ago which that didn't even go to plan really either I just managed to scrape in but I really want to have a a really amazing race something that I can look back back to for a long time and say like that I put 110% into that race and it all came together so I'm not sure, sure if I'm going to be able to document that much on the day obviously be able to sure share my like kind of before and after the race but yeah sometimes with all this social media stuff and content creation um, you can't always just film absolutely everything and I, I do all this training and a lot of running I do it because I love it and I don't want that to take away from uh, yeah I don't want like the content creation and social media to take over from that day which I'm so focused on just executing the plan 110% I don't want to have to worry too much about other kind of things on the day as much as I'd love to document the whole thing on the day and the whole race um, it's just going to be tricky to do that but yeah, I just thought I'd mention that. Just venting a little bit, my thoughts that go through my head. But um, yeah, we're going to head home now. My legs are pretty fatigued, like I said. So um, I've been a bit of a pussy. I haven't been jumping in the ice bath that much. But I think today we're going to jump in there. And then we we'll, um, might jump in the compression boots as well and head to gym after. But see you guys there. I don't know what's actually harder, like just building up the courage to jump in the ice bath or actually getting out of the hot shower afterwards because I take so long to like warm up again. I sit in the shower for like maybe 10 minutes before I'm actually like ready to get out and then still I'm like, I feel like I'm still cold, but um, it is what it is. We've got to do it for the recovery. Recovery is key, especially this stage of a marathon prep. But um, I'm going to cook up some breakfast. Well, I usually have oats pretty much every single morning, but I think we might mix it up. I think we might make some eggs on toast. So let's do it. All right, breakfast is served. We've got four of these huge eggs. You guys know I love these eggs. I get these from the markets, free range, pasture raised, and they're absolutely massive. <laughs> So four of those huge eggs on some sourdough there. We also get this sourdough bread from the markets as well. This is the butter that I use. It's, um, yeah, it's not too bad. And then we've got some strong greens, strong reds and electrolytes just in the big shake there with a heap of water. So that is pretty much meal one and breakfast for today. Guys, we're about to head to gym in a minute, but I just thought I'd show you guys a few clips that I managed to get the other day. Me and my girlfriend Katie were fortunate enough to go whale watching. So during winter on the Gold Coast, apparently, well, this is what the guy on the on the boat said, around like 45,000 humpback whales actually migrate from like Antarctica up um, past the coast and they come past the Gold Coast. So you only have to go like a few kilometers up offshore and you get to see heaps of them. So if you're coming to the Gold Coast during winter, highly recommend. I'm gonna show you guys a few clips. It was an amazing day, literally perfect weather. And yeah, it was really good. They were jumping out of the water and everything. So yeah, 
show you guys a few clips now and then we'll head off to gym. pre-workout meal. I've got white rice and some mince from the butcher and then just some organic tomato chutney. But I just wanted to quickly have a chat because it was like while I was looking at this food, it kind of came to my mind and I've also thought as well, like I haven't even been like remotely sick in well over a year and probably in the last like five years, I've probably been sick maybe three or four times and I think that comes down massively to like what I eat and it's like and even just like cooking your own food it's like if you're someone that eats out all the time you just never know what they're actually putting in the food and what what they even if you think it's something basic you have no idea how they're cooking it or anything like that so it's like if you can eat food that you cook yourself as much as you can and try keep it like pretty basic like so you know what ingredients are in it then you just won't get as sick as like yeah if you're just eating crap all the time you're gonna feel like crap so if you're someone that gets sick like even like every few months like you shouldn't be getting sick every few months unless you've got an actual condition which i understand some people have like conditions health conditions but if you're a regular person you're getting sick you should really look at your diet what you're consuming and just scrap a lot of crap in your diet bring it back to the basics just have like normal stuff i know like it doesn't taste as good but you're gonna feel so much better it's the same with all my training like i always feel really good with all my sessions and i i feel like diet is like the one probably the most important thing with it like with how you feel and how you live your life starts with your diet and what you put in your body and then everything else from there comes because you if you feel like shit you're not going to do anything like you want to be feeling good all the time and that comes down to your diet so just a little tip for you guys that might um eat a lot of crap and eat out a lot order heaps of food clean up the diet you'll feel a million bucks but i'm gonna have this meal gonna have some pre-workout but we may as well just cut it here i'll see you guys at gym
that is the gym session complete. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. I've been using my new Sony lens that I got, so camera lens. It's um, it's a 20 mil Sony, and it's it's pretty good. It's a pretty wide angle, so I don't have to hold the camera as far away. So great for vlogging stuff, but I'm not sure if I'm going to continue to use it in the gym. Um, I've got a Tamron. 28 to 70 mil which I use for all the gym stuff which I pretty much use all the time but um so I'll probably go back to using that in the gym but I don't know you guys might not care anyway so gonna go home now and we'll, we'll probably go through all the training from last week because it was a pretty big week again we're getting to the end of this training block um you guys seem to be interested in that kind of stuff. Hopefully you are anyway. I like kind of diving into it. Hopefully you guys get some helpful kind of stuff out of it. We had a really big marathon session on the Sunday as well. So I'm going to tell you how that went. And yeah, we shall do it when I get home. So I'll see you guys there. Just finished that second workout, bringing all those water bottles inside. I um, We've got like a water cooler inside now. So pretty much like maybe a month or so ago, I got like a water cooler and I just get the bottles from Office Works, trying to just not drink as much tap water or pretty much like none at all if possible. And I never really like cared too much about drinking tap water, but since like changing over, you can really taste the difference. Like it tastes, just tastes cleaner. Um, and then you go back to having like a glass of like tap water just tastes like absolute crap. So, um, yeah, kind of like another healthy thing that we're trying to make the switch to obviously costs a little bit of money, but can't, can't put a price on your health. Can you, but, um, we're making some post-workout little post-workout meal. We've got, um, some Greek yogurt. We've got some BPN whey protein, chopped peanut butter, and then we've got some peanut butter there as well. And there we have it, post-workout meal. All right, guys, let's go through a full week of marathon training. Now, like always, I'll leave all the details just on the side here, all the Strava splits and all of that stuff. I will leave my Strava also down the bottom if you wanna check it out, and um, yeah. Let's get into it. So we started the, the week off. I'll also convert all of this stuff to minutes per mile for you guys in America to make it easier so you don't have to do it. Um, Cause I work on minutes per kilometer, but let's do it. Monday was like an easy kind of recovery run. So eight kilometers easy. And then I had a push session at gym. So that was the first workout for the week. And then Tuesday, always have a speed session Tuesday morning with the running group. This was a pretty interesting and fun one. So we did a five kilometer easy warm up, and then we did five times, three minutes on, one minute off, one minute on, one minute off. And then we do that again, and we did that in total five times, and then finish with a three kilometer cool down. So for the three minute efforts, I was we were working between 320 and 330 per kilometer pace. And then on the one minute efforts, we were working at around 310 to 320 minutes per kilometer pace. I think even my very last one was actually 308 pace. So I actually felt pretty good during this workout and really picked it up at the end. But that was a good session. And then we did a lower body strength session later on that afternoon as well. So that was Tuesday. Wednesday, midweek long run, 20 kilometers, just at an easy pace, no gym this day. Thursday, 16 kilometers, easy pace with a pool session at gym. Friday, we had a 15 kilometer speed workout again. Now. Sunday was a bigger session. So Friday, you, we would usually have a bigger session, but we wanted to kind of rest up a little bit for Sundays. So Friday was just 15 kilometers. We did a five kilometer warm up, 
and then we did five by five minutes with a 90 second easy jog in between and that was around 340 to 342 minutes per kilometer pace for five minute efforts. Two kilometer cool down to finish and that was Friday's session done. Saturday was 12 kilometers just as an, at an easy pace. That's pretty standard from our Saturday run. Then Sunday was probably the biggest, apart from the four by six kilometer workout that I did a, a month or two ago. This is probably the biggest marathon session that I've done so far during this prep. It ended up, I think, 37 or 36 kilometers total. You guys will be able to see over here. But it was 90 minutes at like a moderate pace kind of warm up. And then it was 40 minutes at marathon pace or kind of just quicker. So for me, I did this with Marty and Chris and we were running at 355 minutes per kilometer pace, which is kind of like a, a sub 40 in the middle of a long, sub, sub 40 minute 10K in the middle of a long run. So we're pretty, pretty happy with how we held the pace there. So after, the, after we did the 40 minute effort, we then went into, I think we had a five, five minute or three minute just easy jog. And then we had two by five minutes, even faster than marathon pace, probably more at like half marathon pace. So we did the two by five minutes at three for 340 minute per kilometer pace. I think there was three, three minutes easy jogging in between that and 10 minutes easy jog just to cool down and that was pretty much sunday's big run now i'm not, i'm not sure if i said earlier on in the video but I, th I don't think i've really had a workout go bad this whole prep which has been really good but um i just hope it doesn't mean that that's coming soon but um no nah, i think i think i've stayed pretty healthy and and fit and just felt really good throughout this whole prep especially as it's like cooled down it is really we're in the middle of winter now, so these speed sessions and even the long runs just feel like a lot easier than they did like th about two or three months ago. So really starting to see all the fitness come together now. We're officially from today, I can even check it on my watch. We are two weeks and three days. So what's that? 17 days out from the 2024 Gold Coast Marathon. A few more runs to go this week and then Next week will be a bit of a taper stage, and then obviously the following week will be really resting up, and making sure that we're primed for race day. But hope you guys enjoy the little segments at the end where I go through the previous week of training. I know some of you guys might not be interested at all, but you guys that are, hope you enjoyed it, and hope you enjoyed the rest of the video. Appreciate you guys for watching. I'll catch you later.